back. We are. After a long, long time. <laughs> to be fair, it's not been that long for them. I, I, that's fair, but it, it was long for, for us. us so... Yeah, it's been <laughs> <months>. yeah. <laughs> but we're back. We're finally doing this again. And uh, uh, today's topic is a very good one. But before we do that, introduce the podcast, please. Oh, yeah, that bit. Hi, everyone. Welcome to all the films we judged before. Back after a two month hiatus because things happened. None of our faults. <laughs> no. <laughs> My name is Katie. That is Lily K. Bam. Done. Bam. That's us. That's it. Uh, all right. Uh, let's just get right into it because I want to talk about it. <laughs> and that's it. That's the main reason. <laughs> it's, it's no preamble. We're just going straight in. We're just going to go straight in. Uh, all right. So, you know, from the title of this video we're gonna review uh the fantastic across the spider-verse which we both watched i watched it at a um, press screening just happening <laughs> uh and katie watched it as well on friday on friday yep i went yes. saw it on friday. on friday um so uh first overall talk my overall thoughts are all very complicated i mean they're all positive but they, they, there's a lot of nuance to them <laughs> so it's kind of hard to be um vague about it obviously it's incredible yes there you go yes yes that's true it's that's all you need to know no please go watch stay, it uh, yes go watch it but also watch us talk about it <laughs> uh obviously it's gonna be a spoiler one so yes. you know if you haven't seen it yet but uh numbers are talking and it did really well because uh the first one made uh 38 million dollars uh on its domestic weekend and this one made 120 like two... oh okay i was always it's already at 208 or something at this point isn't it oh probably yeah i think it's, it's gone way up yeah cross spider verse has already generated 208 million worldwide that's what i thought there you go there you go I mean, it was a full house when I watched it, and I heard that during the weekend it was also a full house on on all all the screenings. So I'm not surprised. Yeah, I went at an eight o'clock screening on a Friday because I thought, mm. um, well, one, I had work that day, so it was kind of the only one I could do, and two, I thought, mm. oh, you know, nobody will bring their children to a five an eight o'clock screening on a on a Friday, mm. and they did. Oh, they did. No, yeah. they were fine. To be fair, just the, there was a couple of times where they got up to pee, which I understood. Actually, yeah, it's because two and a half hours. <laughs> but like my my my, because this is an interesting thing to talk about on a podcast. Yes. I had dinner like a, a solid two hours beforehand because I was like, I'll eat now and then mm. I can you know digest my food and I won't go in having just had a bunch of drink, which is yeah. what usually happens. And yes. then I find I need to pee uh, immediately into the movie. I I so it still happened anyway. I got I think about half an hour into the movie and I went, I need to pee. <laughs> and i couldn't find the time to go i wouldn't miss anything yeah yeah you, you don't I want to miss anything uncomfortable at the end fair fair oh i went like i don't know two times before i sat in because i i, uh, I the... should have gone when i got there and i didn't i was f a fool a fool i was <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's okay you still managed to watch the whole thing without passing out from needing to be <laughs> So that's you know that's okay, uh yeah it was uh it 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 it, it was a surprise to see the time on it because uh my local cinema got it wrong oh, yeah. and it actually said ninety minutes and then luckily I I checked it on IMDb because that's my source when it comes to to the actual time and I was like uh guys did you know that you put it all wrong and they were like yep yep we figured got a whole hour missing off of your yes. time there. Yep, yep. There's a there's a whole hour missing uh from this movie, and they were like, "Oh shit!" Uh, so yeah, I quickly just ran in. I was like, oh, "Be quickly. <laughs> quickly!" I didn't I didn't check the time on it before I went. I usually do. Um, I do need to see it again for that reason. I think because I was kept because I was like so desperate to be <laughs> basically yeah. the entire movie, and yeah. I was sitting there going like. Okay, I think we must be getting close to the end now. Let me now. Soon? Actually, the pacing of the movie is flawless, I think. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I um, agree. A rare moment where I have I didn't actually feel like it was dragging on at all. Um, mm. 
the, the moment I thought actually we must be getting close to the end of the movie, we were in fact getting close to the end of the movie. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was uh, it, it it was just so beautifully built up. Not just the story, but the characters as well. I was I was just sitting there and and, and I was like, oh my god, I'm watching a masterpiece. <laughs> So my my feelings about obviously visually it is stunning. Oh, oh shock, it's so beautiful. Sh- shocking nobody. It is the most like visually incredible. Uh, yeah. it, it is a piece of art in itself. It, it is. Um, everything it about is. it is um is is like just chef's kiss. Yeah, all that stuff. Um, I I think, and this is not actually in its detriment i think it, it it it's just it very much intentional in in the whole thing it's because obviously the first movie was so self-contained mm-hmm. um and this for me very much felt like the first half to one story that so it's is. got that fit yeah exactly <laughs> but like in that sense of like you know when you're reading a trilogy and you get to the second book and it's like oh you've do- oh, what you've done here is set up a conflict and there's been no resolution <laughs> Yeah. So, and it can be hard to kind of grapple with that. I think sometimes, um, because it leaves a sense of like dissatisfaction, but that dissatisfaction is intentional, because it's like, yeah, it's dissatisfying because it's not resolved. Yeah. So in my head, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I find it very difficult to. I'm. Uh, there's a reticence with me to judge it properly mm. because it's not the whole story. Yeah, that's fair, but um. I don't know. I I think it, for me, uh, it, it has it's... its own arc and everything yeah, within it. Yeah. I understand that entirely, but it's just for me. I it I don't know. I'm just too stepped back in it. I guess where I'm mm. I'm looking at it, going, I can see half of what this is going for. Yeah, and until I get the other half, I'm not going to be able to look at this as a whole thing. Um, I don't know. I think it's uh, that's why I love it because it's uh, even though it's, it's just the first half of of a bigger story, mm-hmm. uh, it's still like you know stands on its own as well. I do, I don't disagree. So I'm like you know it's it's very much. Um, I honestly can't fa- wait for tomorrow, even though I I already <laughs> saw it. Uh, it's you know I want to see it again. So there's there's so much to take in, uh, so much to observe uh, mm-hmm. in it, and uh, and I just freaking i love the quiet moments in it mm. where where they were only focusing on the characters and 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 what's going on with them i think it was it was just beautifully done uh i definitely <laughs> felt for miles <laughs> i was like, <laughs> like mm-hmm. i i feel you kid <laughs> it, it 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 was you know his story and grand story as well was was just you know it's 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 I was like yes yes this is how you do it this is this is what you do with your characters that we already know but there's more to them yes we 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 we're, we're going forward with them I love that they changed I I love I love when animation does that like you know time passes there as well hopefully <laughs> they're gonna grow up they're gonna get bigger they're gonna get you know they they will change I love uh, the the, the very small details they paid attention to on their faces, how they changed it. I was like, ah, oh, this is just so good to look at. <laughs> it's just, I, you know what I love the most? And it's it's like a tiny, tiny thing. But in, in Gwen's world, whenever her mood changed, the color changed as well. I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she, it, I like the, the whole watercolor-esque um, oh yeah, vibe of her her whole universe is is incredibly um, yeah, it's really, I mean, it's just it's one of the more, the more stunning ones to look at, yeah, in my opinion, because it's just such a a, a nice color palette. I'm I forgot how obsessed I was with the way her the way she moves and mm-hmm. the like elements of ballet that are in her uh, her mood set and, and it's there. There's a point um early on in the, the like opening sort of fight that she has. Mm-hmm. Where she kind of skids in and she she goes point, yep. um, uh, and I was like, "That's that's real nice. <laughs> that's real nice." <laughs> yeah, stuff. yeah. It's 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 just beautifully done. Like you know, but all the words that they introduced. This mm-hmm. is how you do a multiverse movie. By the way, 
It's a little burn there for Marvel. Mm -hmm. Take notes. Yeah. Take Between notes. this and everything, everything all at once, we've yep. like got things. Yes. You know? Yeah. It's it's there. You can do it like this. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I love the different art styles that they introduced, the new ones as well. Uh, uh, I'm not going to lie, uh, at the beginning, uh, when the water shows up and, and they have that fight, it, mm. it took me out a little bit for a second because yeah. it is so different uh, from what we've already seen uh, in the previous movie and this one. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. eyes adjust <laughs> to what's happening. But then, you know, the whole movie is basically just went on uh, and and we, we've got the Lego universe, which was brilliant freaking love that uh <laughs> i i i was like yep that's i i love that it, it because you know it's fear lord and and um oh of course i didn't even put <laughs> it together that's yeah no it might make sense <laughs> yep yeah so i was like mm -hmm. well done well done i see what you did there mm -hmm. uh and i want to talk about this because it's 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 kind of huge as they are now all officially confirmed to be in the same oh yeah verse in a way uh because we got live action uh, yeah i feel like if there was anything that kind of made me go it was all of the live action included elements because yeah. i felt like it, it not nah. not because of like what they were i actually loved that they were in there it's just like the 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 very obvious like live action donald glover standing next to miles <laughs> was a bit like it's one of those things where because the, the, the movie is so like stylized in a very particular way yeah. and then you've just got a person um, I don't know there is an element I, I get it, it, it's you know there's nothing you can do about it it just that's the way it's going to look it's just for me I was kind of like mm hmm I love that. have mm -hmm. you seen uh, Roger Rabbit I mean I know what you were referring to I think it's because it's kind of the opposite of that in a way, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I've ever I've ever enjoyed the look of it. Really, okay, I mean, okay. Oh, no, I I I I really liked it because first of all, uh, obviously we know that Donald Grover is playing Aaron Davis, who's Miles's uncle, but in the Tom Holland universe, mm -hmm. so that was kind of big. I was like, oh, it's also nice to know that that's still a thing. That's gonna be it is. <laughs> I, I was like, oh, okay, so we we still have you. Okay, good, 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 Fun fact, I read this today and I was like, what? Did you know that mm -hmm. it was Donald Glover who inspired Miles' character? I had heard about that, yeah. And he was the first one who ever voiced uh, Miles. Yeah. So I was like... Yeah. Full circle moment. I like it. Full circle, yeah. Fucking loved it. Uh, I, uh, I, I was also a little bit appreciative of the fact that the first like actual live-action Spider-Man that we saw in like close-up was Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man. Uh, that made me very happy. Just like, I, I yes, give my boy some props. Yep, yep. Not gonna lie, I I teared up at that moment. I was like, oh, yes, well done. Well, we didn't see Tom Holland. No, we didn't. Like, which is also I, very funny to me, actually. Because I, as soon as they showed Donald Glover, I was like, oh, I'm okay. Then we, we're probably gonna see Tom Holland, and you know, and and he didn't show up. So it is my theory. Here's my theory. I think he's gonna show up in the next one. That that's also that's very possible. Um, I, I I think there's also there's something I'd argue that there may be a um uh, a little bit of of copyright contingency stuff yeah, maybe because uh, maybe. you'll but notice then... that that Donald Glover popped in if they filmed with him specifically it wasn't that um it wasn't that they were using clips from old movies yeah. that they'd already made yeah yeah that yeah that kind yeah, of yeah, a yeah. thing. Um, so I'm wondering if that may also be a part of it, but at the same time, they could do the same. They could do the same fucking thing. They could yeah, exactly. Tom Holland in 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 that regard, exactly. Sure. And he said it many times that he would. He wants to. to. <laughs> <laughs> and he said it's the best uh, Spider-Man movie, and I was like, yes, yeah, I still love you, but yes. <laughs> so you know, I was a bit surprised, but I'm, I'm I I think he's gonna show up in. In Beyond the Spider Verse, which is going to be the next next one, and it's coming out next year, which is like such a relief. Yeah, <laughs> like, it really is. Honestly, <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to wait another. Thing. No, no. 
hell no. I was like, okay, when is it coming out? When is it coming out? And then it was like 2024. <sighs> okay. I March, which I thought was yep. March really quite soon. Yep, yep, yep. I was like, okay, okay. I, I can wait that long. That's fine. <laughs> and a B in Spanish. What? Ooh, okay. Miles. Are you trying to Mira, that's why I'm I gotta go. All right, have a bye. Oh, but we have to mention the very first one in there. Mrs. Chen. Oh my god, yes! <laughs> I was so excited. I was like, yes, bitch. Better than us. I laughed. I was like, Mrs. Chen! Well, I'm like, where's Eddie? <laughs> where's Eddie? <laughs> <laughs> fucking loved it i was like oh yeah i just thought she, that she's there like i don't give a shit i have seen weirder shit than you yeah yeah exactly she was like oh, god man just shut up <laughs> i was like yeah that's mrs shen we fucking love yeah. mrs shen just so cool i was like yeah so um uh, so yeah yeah go on go on your turn um i wanted to talk about some of our new spider friends because um <laughs> uh i'm obsessed with hobie brown i want him to Obviously. be my best friend um da uh he's amazing he's the best <laughs> he's just the best, <laughs> the, the, he's the I, best. Don't, I don't even have anything like else to add he's just so perfect yeah this is how i imagine david kaluuya in real life mm. yeah you i know? think he's mm-hmm. i think he's like that <laughs> I, I like to think that that he's like yeah he's just cool i just it's just a, hmm. like pure essence of punk and yep. apparently, so I I heard that he took, he, just him on his own, took about three years to animate. Oh, really? Yeah. Because obviously wow. the, the, he, his like vibe changes so much depending mm. on his, all of like the, the sort of newspaper clippings that are behind mm-hmm. him are, are constantly changing color and, and all this sort of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, it doesn't surprise me too much, honestly. Yep. Um, Makes sense. I fucking love his hair. Oh. He's got like these thick locks that are incredible. And he took off the mask. I was like, Ugh. I do have questions about how he manages to fit them under the mask, but hmm. I feel like I I should just not bother yeah. asking. Just yeah, yeah, just it's just pure punk. He just it he's, is. he's like so anti-establishment. He just can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking loved him. Yeah, I I really liked Spider Bite as well. Uh, who's who's voiced by uh Amanda Stenberg, the vr one virtual oh Spidey. yes um her name yeah she her name i think like... it's it's the the official name i think is spider bite but i am yes not... but her she her like actual name is something like um oh yeah she definitely said her actual name but it, it, uh, it once, so. it's no that's like that's I, that's not helping uh, i just googled spider bite and it just started giving me things about spider bites i'm like <laughs> ah shit no fuck it is hold on uh if it's already up on IMDb, we're gonna this find is, out. This is this us bracing to Yeah. Nope, 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 nope. No. Yeah, uh, uh, Margot. Margot, yeah, I think it was something like that. I was like Margot. Yep. It had an M in my head and I couldn't figure out what the word. Yeah, Margot. I did love her. I love the fact that her and Miles clocked each other immediately and were like, I like mm-hmm. it. Bye. Yep. Bye. Spidey yep. Spidey yep. moment. We get each uh, other. Did you know? Because I'm now just seeing the names here. Mm-hmm. That a uh, our boy Jack Quaid uh, was Peter Parker <laughs> in this one. <laughs> wait, wait, like um, Gwen's Peter Parker? I think so. Oh my god! I, I obviously I watched it with a Hungarian dub, so I I don't I didn't hear the voices. I can uh, I I feel like I could hear that. Yeah, I think because so. it's, he's here. He's here. Jack Quaid, Peter Parker. He's the only Peter Parker I can think of that had like yeah? extensive lines. I think so too. I think that was. I That's think that so was funny. Him. I didn't um, pick up on that. I um. I hang on a second. First of all, I need to uh, actually figure out how to say his name. Pravitra Prabhakar. Pravitra Prabhakar. I'm probably still murdering that. Pravitra. Anyway. Karan Sony uh, voiced him, so I, I think. Sorry, say again. Kar- Karan Sony. Karan. He's been in in a lot of things. His face is very familiar. Oh yeah, he was in. Oh, he's the Pinder in Deadpool. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, gotcha. Okay, okay, great. Also, also, I will have to put this in here. I had to message my new bestie. Uh huh. Right after 
I was like, I so I saw that before I went in, so I knew I was waiting for it. I was like, you sneaky. Hey, I, I he, he lied to us. <laughs> he lied to us. <laughs> <Yuri>. <laughs> How could you do this? <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like, y- fucking sneaky. And then he is. He is so sneaky, and he just did it without a blink. He was like, yeah, I'm not doing it. Oh man, oh, yeah, I'd love to do that at some point. Sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Yuri, Yuri, come on, come on, man. I wrote him like you know. Am I right to assume that you was your own Spider-Man because I watched it in a Hungarian dub? And he was like, can't confirm. I was like, ah! <laughs> You're like, to us, you're in. Mm. How could you do this, bestie? How? <laughs> He's doing his job. Like... <laughs> well, like, come on. Come on. We're best friends um, now. So, like, come on. I do want to go back to Pavitra a little bit yes, because yes. I am obsessed with him. He is a delight. His hair is perfect. Um, mm. That entire section was just gold. <laughs> uh, the, you mean the the whole fight and everything? Yeah, just his introduction, the whole fight, mm. um, the rant about <laughs> chai tea. Yeah, oh, he loved that. You're basically saying tea. And this tea, is tea. where the British stole all of our stuff. And it's yeah, like, I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I was the only one who left that then. I was like, oh, uh, you shouldn't. I will. I don't care. No, it's funny. <laughs> it was funny. I was like, come on. You, you guys can laugh. Like, come I on. think I sat there and went, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. I, and it's it's the big turning point of the movie as well. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, uh, Miles heavily underestimated the spot. You shouldn't have. I think that that was, and I think multiple people have pointed this out, actually. Yes. Just as... um you know it's it's not an original thought but the marketing around this movie has been fucking brilliant because the Mm -hmm. marketing also underestimated him oh yeah um in a way that was just i i appreciate on like a a, a synergistic level where they're gonna go we're just gonna lead you a little bit down in the same way the movie does yeah (laughs) so you have expectations and then we'll kind of beat them as we go along Mm -hmm. I, i i had to wait i was like until the the credits came up at the end of the movie, mm. so they're going like that fucking voice is so familiar to me, and I cannot place it. And it wasn't even when all of the, the names came up, um, with, like actually with who they played at the end. It was when I saw Jason Schwartzman's name just in the like the credits. I was like, fuck, that's who it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, you're so familiar, and I can't figure out why. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I like I like I love watching Jason Schwartzman and stuff. He's always brilliant. Oh, he's great. Um, I can't. Okay. I honestly can't wait to watch this movie in English because I'm like, ah. Oh yeah, it's definitely <laughs> worth it. Oh yeah, hey, I know. I, like, it's. I'm not gonna say that the the Hungarian dub on it is bad because it's not. It's it's very enjoyable. We're very good at dubbing movies, so it's like you know. But like, uh, I want the original. I want to. I want to hear Haley Steinfeld. I want to hear everyone, everyone, because they are so good. Mm. <sighs> but I have to wait. Alas, alas, alas. Alas, I have to wait. It is mm-hmm. fine. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. <laughs> but yeah, Spot as a villain is very interesting, it and is. I, I am very, I'm very impressed with the way that they managed to. Um... What's the word I'm looking for? It creates such like an interesting, like visually um, mm-hmm. interesting character, uh, like uh, villain, and and like with an interesting set of powers and all that sort of stuff, but also managed to create his story in such a way that is genuinely a mirror to Miles. Yeah, in that sense of like these are two people who made each other kind mm-hmm. of a thing. Um, and in, in that way that you're kind of like, yeah, yeah, yeah of course, you're, you're just saying that. And then by the end of it, you're like, oh, fuck, you're not fucking kidding. <laughs> you are you are right, actually. You're correct, you're correct. And I'm like, it's like, oh, no. <laughs> you know? Yep. Yeah, I was like, because I, I genuinely didn't remember. Did he pop up in the first one? You can see him. You can, you can see, see the bagel him. bit in the first movie. Shit, I, I, I have to rewatch it again because I was like, I, I need to watch it again, and then I just didn't have time. Uh, but I think I, I watch across the Spider Verse again tomorrow, and then I will watch into the Spider Verse, and I'm gonna be like, hey, yeah, he's right in the back. It, there's like a little bit where you can see Bagel written up across the, the, the top of his head. He's so small, like right in the background. Um, um, which that's is how just, you doing? Just it's so. 
it's smart planning and everything so smart so smart not even if it even if it wasn't planned it's just a good decision like true true it's just That's a really true. good one or if they would sit in there going like we need to make this guy into somebody in particular what about that guy with the bagel that we hit in the first movie? Like, even that is just great. That, that's just a great choice. Yeah. Either way around. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Also, um, second movie in uh, as many years in which bagels have become a very important part of multiversal <laughs> theory. That's true. Elliot pointed it out as well. <laughs> it was like... Again, not an original thought. It has been everywhere. But <laughs> bagels it's it's part of the big it's all about bagels it's all about bagels uh i really liked uh uh miguel as well that was i was about to get do you want to get into the nitty-gritty of miguel as uh, a character and an antagonist i think i'd rather put it than a villain is he an antagonist though i mean he is an antagonist because he is and he is the antagonist to the protagonist who is miles (laughs) But he's not, but whether or not he's a villain is the question. I don't think he's a villain. No, and I, I would agree, which is why I refer to him as an antagonist. Fair. Okay, fair. I can yeah. I can be on board because, like, yeah. even on like a narrative level, he is in opposition to our protagonist, thereby quantifying him as an antagonist. Fair. Um, I I appreciate him as a character. I am still mad at him. <laughs> I'm very um I on like a genuine like like empathetic level. I'm like, dude, fuck you. Yeah, but uh, I I was like that at the beginning. I was like, oh come on now, like you know, you should have a heart. And like, you... no, it's it's the it's, sorry. No, I'm gonna get into this. <laughs> Go for I, it. I do think that it, it's like he the the whole I, okay. I under I can empathetically, um, you know. I can be empathetic towards what he has lost, what he has tried to mm. build. Yeah, His entire worldview is fucking wrong, though. And the fact that he's gotten on this 15-year-old kid for, as far as we can all tell, existing in a way that wasn't in his control either. No. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I don't know. Because at the same time, you know, he's just trying to keep the order. In, yeah, but in, I think that that's the so problem, it, and I think that that's part crumble. of the reason. I think that that's part of the reason I think Hobie is such an excellent like force oh, within yeah. this. Um, yeah, movie, because he is, by all accounts, the absolute opposite of that. Because he is the embodiment of anarchy, um, mm. and um, he that, and I love the fact that he just dips immediately. Like, no, nope, I'm out. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> yes, king, you get it immediately. <laughs> um, he saw shit going sideways and went, "Yeah, I'm dipping now." <laughs> yeah, um, oh, bye. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's just I. But I, I think maybe there's just an element of like I don't like that sense of like I've decided because I've had a bad experience that I know best, and I'm going to force order on the rest of the world in the vis- in the manner that I see fit. And I will do it in a way that means that everybody who shares my experience will agree with me enough and they'll be scared of me enough that they won't fight against it. It's Miles coming in and being like, nah, I'm I'm going to do my own thing, actually. I've already done that enough. And, you know, funnily enough, his world didn't collapse when uh, he got bitten by that spider and and, and Peter Parker died. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Um, And truly... I don't think actually Miguel has seen the effects of what would happen if he actually did just like leave things to like disrupt the canon. The thing that caused Miguel's universe to fall apart was that he went into somebody else's and tried to live a life there. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can't argue because that was my argument. Like, you know, it it all collapsed and in in not because the canon died, because he tried to replace somebody else in somebody else's universe. If he'd had one of those fucking bracelets before he went over there, yeah, like to like stabilize things, I don't think it would have happened. I'm just putting it out there. Because hmm. like clearly that kind of stabilization thing was something he had to figure out as he went. Yeah, I don't know, but also we don't have the whole picture because obviously that's true. Part yeah. of 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 narrative in these sorts of ways is that you know he is presenting his narrative. Mm. as fact but we don't know the the you know objective view of the entire thing um mm. 
Yeah. I mean, we, I think we all know that. Um, yeah, I just, I mean, just that if you look at P Pavita's, um, I'm butchering his name. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, universe. Um, the 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 anomaly that was there was the spot that that was just hit. That was that was what happened. That wasn't an effect of mm. Miles saving um, police captain. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. That's what I was thinking as well. Like, but part of the reason that the whole thing is actually fucking genius because like you've got so many things that support his the narrative that miguel has been pushing forward this entire time mm, mm, mm -hmm. um he's like well you know here you go that's it that, that's exactly my yeah, point yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. yeah but it's like no there's actually different ways to explain all of this you're yeah. just not looking because you're so fo focused on what you think is true yeah yeah Which that's is... fair i didn't think about it like that like you know i i, I looked at him as as someone who's just you know who, who experienced the worst possibility that can be there and uh, you know doesn't want the multiverse to collapse on itself so and i think that that is that's his motivation like in his yeah. head that's exactly what he's doing yeah um it's just that he's so blind to the whole thing at this point he couldn't see a sense of wonder and um you know experimentation that kind of comes with being spider-man um cuz he's a very different version of spider-man i yeah. um we don't know the specifics of how this Spider-Man exists in this universe mm. um, compared to the, the way that Spider-Man uh, 2099 exists in the comics. But he's, yeah. from the outset, he's a different kind of Spider-Man because he was, you know, he's injecting himself yeah. to, to keep his powers. Yeah. Um, and we don't know if that means that in many ways he's not actually a real Spider-Man or if it's more like, because I've did i been going to, it's been basically trending on Tumblr for the past mm. th four days um, yeah. <laughs> since the movie yeah. came out. Um, and I've seen a bit in pieces where apparently, he, you know, he was genetically created to create, to like basically make a new Spider-Man for the age that they were living, he was living mm. in. So he's not so much bitten by a radioactive spider. He was he's half spider which is why he's far more animalistic yeah but like in my head because i was looking at him i was like he looks more like prowler yeah the craw claws and you've got like fangs and all that sort of stuff and it's like he looks it like feels... morbius <laughs> was that a line because i think i must have missed that or something <laughs> because somebody it... said that there was some kind of morbius reference and i don't think i saw it I don't think I saw it either, but I, I, I read about it and I was like, <laughs> where was it? I will find out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're going to let me know. I, I, I will be on it. I'm like, was there one? Because I don't remember. But the, I think it might have been the whole vampire bit because they mm. do mention it once. And I was like, yeah, I think that must have hmm. flown by me, I guess, at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But it, it's part of the reason I am on like a level of, um, you know, uh, the, the part of me that that gets real nerdy about like the way the narrative was put together and all this mm. sort of stuff. This movie rules because it holds up under so much scrutiny. When you start pulling it apart, it still works. Yeah, which I'm just always impressed. By. <laughs> yep, yep. But that's like, how you do good writing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, the, 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 those bits and pieces are, are so great. But on the like immediate emotional level, which is what I was referring to when we mm. started talking about it i think and in, in in a way that you know is like i said intentional i get a sense of like oh come on <laughs> you know there's like a there's a frustration involved with it that yeah. is you know yeah in intentional but doesn't take away from the fact that i might <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> i am unsatisfied give me more which is um, fair which is fair. You just want to see the the next one. I need to see the next one. I want to see the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs> I want to see my whole narrative. It's like, yeah, it is. If it, it is like getting into a, a book trilogy, um, mm. uh, and as it's coming out and reading the second book and being like, what do you mean? I now have to wait a year before I get the next one. Yep, <laughs> everything's so fucked. Yep, that's true. That's true. It can be so annoying, but uh, again, uh, just because it. It was a cliffhanger because mm. obviously it was, and I hate cliffhangers. Fucking hate them, but 
somehow didn't feel a cliff, like a cliffhanger Not for because me. Because it was a good cliffhanger. Because it was, yeah, I, I think it's it's just like, you know, it it, it made me even more curious about like, oh, who are you going to take this from? Mm. Uh, even though I was immediately uh, ran, uh, Maya stepped into uh, the machine. I can't remember names and on things. And the go-home think, machine? The go-home machine, yeah, thank you. Uh, and they said which universe it is. I was like, oh, shit. He's now going back to his own. I See, was like, ah, this is the thing. So ah. I, I didn't have, I, I don't have the whole thing in my head. Quite I, like I, it was one of those things where it was like I knew something was wrong. I was like, there's, there's something off here, and I just couldn't put like a, like a name to it. I couldn't exactly pinpoint what it was. I was just like, something's not right here. Like, there's so many things that it, it's that thing of like, it, it's in the same kind of way of like if you walked into a room and somebody like moved one thing and you know yeah. that room really well you'd be like the fuck yeah. something's what's happened yeah <laughs> that that was the instinct yeah it was like i it, the 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 color palette i knew was wrong i was yeah. sitting there like oh it's so it's very it's a lot of green going on here yeah um i noted rio's eyes mm-hmm. i was like there's something not right about that mm-hmm. it's just all of these little things um so when she was, uh, you know, when it sort of started kind of unraveling in that way and they did the reveal, I was like, okay, right, that makes sense. So the moment Aaron came in and they mm-hmm. started heading up to the roof, I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh. I think that literally the moment he gets knocked out, I was like, oh, that's Miles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. It, even maybe a little bit beforehand, I was like, no, that's Miles. So it was like, I had most of the pieces. I just couldn't quite put them together until I had that one mm. part where it was like, we're in a different universe. I was like, okay. Now I know what's going on. <laughs> that kind of a vibe. Yep, yep. I, I I called it. I was so proud of myself because I called it at that moment. I was like, he's not going into his own universe. I know, this is so fucked up. Why would you do this? But it makes sense because the spider that bit Miles, it wasn't from his universe. So, uh... and I just, again, another thing that like, in the Chekhov's gun sort of vibes. They plant mm. that 42 from the beginning. They're like, yep. this is an important number. You have yep. to remember it. Yep. And you're like, so it's that other thing of being like, because I couldn't quite put two and two together, I was like, you've given me the clues. I just can't. And also, <laughs> if 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 you read uh, Douglas Adams or you watched The Hitchhiker's Guide to Galaxy. 42. It is the meaning of life, life the it universe the and everything. Yeah. Exactly. I was like, oh, are you pulling a Douglas Adams? And then I was like, ah, I see what you did there. Well done. Well oh, yeah, that done. does kind of work, doesn't it? Yep. Huh. Yeah, it does work. I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like them. They are very sneaky and I love them. Mm. Uh, also, I am very satisfied uh, to get an evil Miles because, I mean, the whole aesthetic that they draw him in and everything. Is, like, they, there's so many little details with that rendering <gasps> of him, which is so Fucking brilliant. Wrong, then. Like, like if you when you look at his face, there are like there are harder lines on his face. His eyes are slightly duller color. Uh, it's like this is a guy that's been through some stuff. <laughs> yep. And I am not sure because IMDb is very weird about it. But apparently, there's uh uh one second. It was here. Uh. The, he has a different voice actor, Jar- Jerome. Uh, he's listed as Miles G. Morales, and huh. then uh, Shamaik Moore is. I just is, assumed is it was Spider Man as Miles, like a like a slightly lower voice. No, um, it looks like it's it's. Uh, we have a different uh, voice actor for this new Miles, which makes hmm. sense in a way. It would also make sense. Yeah, I could see that yeah. for sure. So um, I I was like, wait, hold on. Obviously, the Hungarians didn't bother with that, so it's the same voice actor in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's a different. Do you voice get actor. the same credits at the end of the movie? If yeah. They, okay, so you yeah. can keep an eye out for it next time you go. It was so fast; they couldn't get all the names. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they're going like trying to read everything so quickly, yeah. and then it just <laughs> went away. Like, What's happening? <laughs> I, feel, I can't I read feel... that fast. Like, you know, I can read pretty fast. <laughs> I will definitely. I this will need the second and even the third and fourth watch as well. Uh, yeah, it's one of those 100%. ones that I I do want to watch more times mm-hmm. because I think that an initial viewing doesn't necessarily get you like a full experience. Oh, no, no, uh, because you, you spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's going to happen next. Yeah, but I think a second viewing sometimes it really gives you the opportunity to actually watch the thing as it is. Um, 
as it should be yeah it's true as it should so, be yeah um but yeah i i really like that like miles as a as a spider-man mm-hmm. pardon me <laughs> exists oh, in opposition to like everything mm-hmm. just everything he is in himself yeah he's an anomaly and he's like yeah all right then i'll yeah. make my own story then yeah. you don't get to tell me what like the canon is if i'm already an anomalous like thing i'll you know i'll figure it out i'll do both yep do you actually think he'll be able to do both no i don't think so mm. I, I i feel like this will have a bittersweet ending to it. I, I've, I'm, I'm very interested by the whole thing because I feel like there's arguments to be made for both. Mm. Because I think, but I think it won't because I think that the idea of him breaking the canon is something that needs to be um, respected and upheld as, it, as mm. it goes on. So in some way he is going to push outside of the bounds of what is like supposedly written for a Spider-Man. But mm. at the same time, something that is essential to Spider-Man is that he's always going to try and do good in the face of just shit happening. Yeah. Um. So it kind of comes up as a question of like, well, if it doesn't happen in this way, what way will it happen then? Like, what is he going to end up losing by the end of it? He will lose something, that's for sure. Because I think that it's not so much a thing of like, Spider-Man always um you know uh what's the fucking word i'm looking for um it's 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 that thing of like yes tragedy follows spider-man but only because he is constantly in the effort Mm. of trying to create good around him yeah yeah um and in that quest to juggle every single plate something tends to fall um and i think it, it that has to be sort of the tenant of the whole thing as opposed to um these things just happen right mm. and then you you have to not get in the way of them it's like if that thing happens it has to happen in spite of the fact that he doesn't yeah. just he's not just gonna let it happen yeah 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 yeah. That, yeah. It, that it has to come out with a sense of conflict and struggle yep there's always something you know uh yeah. that because if if you look at it and i i think i think it's like kind of a general rule uh in time travel movies tv shows whatever that uh if 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 you want to save something you you will lose something else mm. uh, in return and and if you you look at end game where Tony had to sacrifice himself, mm. or if if you, or just simply Gamora coming back and not being the Gamora that you know they knew or yeah. whatever, it's it's always like something that that's gonna take uh, the place of 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 that thing, and if that makes sense, yeah. I can't explain it and properly. And I think, I think <laughs> that that's a really interesting thing, but I think that has to come. I think in the in terms of this, it, it I think the thing that could very easily it fall into, but and I think the thing that this movie is kind of interrogating in a way, is that these canon moments don't come from some unwritten rule of the universe where this exact thing has to happen to every single person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah. comes from the fact that all of these Spider Mans, the, what they have in common is that they will constantly try to do X, Y, and Z, and the result of that tends to come out as somebody gets hurt yeah um and, and it's it, it's it's not and I the think same for all of them so mm. already so it's it's already different and i think but i think that that's what is so brilliant about it as a narrative and i think it, what is so brilliant about the team as um storytellers is that they're mm-hmm. recognizing that like if we're going to go for something um, and we're going to look at a trope we're mm. going to interrogate that trope and the ex- reason why it exists and then yeah. the emotional sort of stake in that existence rather than just being like, well, this is just the thing that we've seen in other stories and therefore that's what's going to happen. Yeah, Because I think you can always tell when that sort of thing, you you, you kind of sit there and go, I know what's going to happen because I've seen other things. I have, I've, I've witnessed narrative, right? Um, but this, at least it feels earned because it has been interrogated. Mm-hmm. Um, it has been um, pulled apart and and, and they've questioned the reason why these things existed and how they are going to fit together in a way that makes sense for the people that are, you know, existing in the space that they're existing in. Yeah. 
Uh, and to just go back on the thought that, um, you know, Miles is not in the right place and he shouldn't have been Spider-Man and Peter should have lived mm -hmm. in, in his universe and whatnot. I think uh, because obviously the whole thing the whole discussion is a spoiler but spoiler again uh at the very at beginning this point. <laughs> this, just to, just to be sure at, at the very beginning they do mention uh what dr strange did uh mm. in in the mcu <laughs> yeah. uh, and my immediate thought was uh the tva when it came to miles and mm. we started to talk about him because uh uh the tva said that you know the whole time travel with the avengers had to happen so Miles existing in that universe isn't something that breaks anything. Exactly, it had to happen. So I was like, "Hmm, interesting, interesting." I don't know. I, 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 I was like, I think this Miles needs to needs to exist here. That 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 was the reason. And I, I, I think that they're gonna explore that uh, whole thing in the next one. Like, you know, why, why did it happen this way? Why, why it it went this way, and why it can stay. So I'm like, <laughs> twenty twenty four, please come very quickly. <laughs> mm. We need answers. <laughs> I was, um, I loved um, Gwen's um, whole stuff in it, actually, because mm -hmm. I thought that um, the, uh, and again, this is stuff that I've also read, which has helped me kind of put some stuff into like perspective yeah. on on things, where it's like Gwen is miles if he gave up, like mm -hmm. he is she's she's gone through all of the stuff and doesn't have the tools to be able to become she she's resigned herself to the idea that this is just what happens to spider-man yep. you know if you're if you're if you're a spider person then this is just what occurs to you and there's no point in like fighting any of it and we just go along with the system and all this other stuff she is very much in antithesis to him in that he hasn't gone through the stuff that she's gone through and therefore he he still has hope um and part of you know the influence that they have on each other is that by the end of it she's refound that hope yeah and sense of like anarchy i think is probably the best way to put it which is which you know it is yeah because you know part of the reason why hobie just existing in this space is so good <laughs> true it's facts uh yeah it's just brilliant with on the whole thing uh if you have have to rate it, how would you rate it? Before that, yes. I just want to also bring up the scene with her dad when she finally comes Which back. One? Oh yeah, because I think that that's really that's a really important like, uh, the, the effect of that them coming together was the only way that that could have mm. changed, and that you know she gets to be able to say what she says, and he quits. He's yep. like not captain anymore. He's not. He's managed anymore. to save his own life. Yep. Easy as that, because he doesn't want to lose his daughter. So yeah. There Just, it is. Mm, good stuff. Good yep. content. Good. To, very good content indeed. Rating. I'm gonna give it. Yes. Like a nine point eight, only because there's a couple of moments really early in the movie and right at the end where the sound gets totally drowned out and I couldn't hear anything. <laughs> you missed like <laughs> point zero two of <laughs> of the thing. It's just the mix wasn't great in a couple of places. Like I literally was trying yeah. to hear Gwen in the uh, voiceover and I was like, "No, I can't." It, like it, she was just completely drowned out by the drums, um, and it happened at the end again as well. Um, oh, gotcha. I was like. <sighs> Um, I was like sitting there, like I just wish there were subtitles this, right now. <laughs> I just did, for like that bit. I wish you put subtitles in. It's <laughs> the only that's reason. Fair. That's fair. It's still a nine point eight, so I think that's good. Mm. <laughs> I will go with ten. Yeah, I'm, I'm just straight up ten, which we rarely give up. But it's this one, yes, <laughs> one hundred percent the ten. As in... soon as I'm able to watch it with subtitles, it will go straight. <laughs> yes, there you go. There you go. <laughs> immediately fixes the problem uh yeah 10 yeah. easy peasy no uh, i don't even have to think about it like yeah, it's it's movie. it's the best animated film ever i'm just gonna say it it's so beautiful it's gorgeous fucking gorgeous i could never be an animator by the way i i realized that patience <laughs> <sighs> 
to to I I I have. I think my patience level can be really good, especially when it comes to drawing. For this, uh, uh-uh. no, no. I think drawing a- the same character over and over again. This is the thing. I, I think there's an element of of, of like, I, not in the sort of sense of like crunch culture. I'm talking about like, but there is an element of grinding that happens. Mm. with animation where you do have to do the same thing over and over and yeah. over again in like yeah. very slightly different ways um nope. not- which i just i would get bored uh even yeah. if the material was like really really stunning yeah. like this is yep that's my problem i i know myself that well and i'm like love it beautiful work i had to just like this is where my just... appreciation for <laughs> yeah. people are coming. yep yep shout out exactly. to the over a thousand people that worked on this movie <laughs> honestly it's it's gorgeous and before we leave and say goodbye i will read one more thing because i think this is amazing oh, well, she's and the phone out. <laughs> yes yes because uh i think i saved it because i was like damn uh, 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 uh i think it is in my light tweets no go back thank you so here's a fact about this movie that I didn't know about, and it's it blew my mind away. Um, hold on, there's a lot of things that I saved. Mm-hmm. Preston Mutanga, I'm sorry if I butchered your name, the 14 year old kid who recreated Across the Spider Verse trailers, also animated the Lego segment of the film. 14 year old, 14. King. 14. Thank you, Peter. You are one of our five <laughs> most important. <laughs> it's like <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Hats off. Like the whole thing, everyone, uh, Phil Lord and Christopher Miller. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Namaste. Mm-hmm. And whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is us talking about uh, uh, reviewing Across the Spider Verse, going into heavy detail. Hopefully, you didn't watch this if you haven't seen the movie yet, because we just spoiled That the would whole be ridiculous. <laughs> we are constantly spoiling things. You should watch us if you're going to go into it. <laughs> so, if, you know, but if, if you did, whoops. Uh, <laughs> now did go watch you. the movie. Yeah, go watch the movie now. It's not going to be surprising anymore, but you know. Now you can go appreciate it for all the things that we've told you about already instead. Exactly, exactly. Uh, And uh, we have uh, some very good things lined up for the future as well. Um, And uh, you know what I'm talking about this time because you were there. (laughs) Sure. I grab people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. (laughs) There you go. Uh, But until then, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Go watch movies. Movies.